Hey guys, Jeremy Henke with Microfilmmaker Magazine and the new film Depleted. And this is our third and final um, prepping airsoft guns uh, tutorial. So this third and final one deals with guns that do not have extensions put on them. They have the orange tip that's been painted on, has been added as part of the barrel that really does legitimately need to be there to look authentic. This is an M9 A1 um, from KJW, and uh, we found that they really had a high quality M9 gun, essentially the Beretta M9 setup. So what you need to do here is you will actually have to paint this. Um, so first, you'll need to break down the gun itself and you'll need to remove the barrel. You'll notice we turn around the guide rod so that we can slide it out and then we can remove the barrel. Once you slide the guide rod up um, and away up into the spring, you should be able to wiggle out the barrel. Then you're going to go through and tape it down with painter's tape so that you don't get excess paint onto the other parts of the barrel. You just want to be painting the tip. So you're going to wrap that up in blue painter's tape or whatever painter's tape you have. Um, and then you can do a couple different things. In this particular situation, um, we elected to sand it all the way down to the metal. Technically, you could just scuff up the paint so that it's, uh, it's got some adhesion to it, and then you could paint it. So we went through and we used a little uh, hand sanding. You can use like a sanding block or sandpaper. Um, if you have a machine sander, um, like the one we're using here, you can use a sanding disc and then just sand off that, that paint down to the metal. Um, and do be careful because you don't want to cut grooves into it. So we're using a soft um, sanding. It's, it's kind of partially sponge, partially sandpaper. And then for sanding inside of the barrel, because some of the orange paint is in there, we went through and we actually took an old drill bit and uh, attached sandpaper to that and just wrapped it up. And then you can use it with a regular drill or as you see here, you can use it in a drill press and then just use that to sand down your uh, the internal painting until it gets down to the metal or as close as you can get. And after that, we used a Lazy Susan. We put aluminum foil on this Lazy Susan so that we could spin it in the middle and uh, try to get as even a coat as possible because, again, you don't want it to drip. You don't want it to go in weird directions. Um, so putting it in the middle, we put some sand in a cup. Um, we also tried out um, a metal casing to hold it. So we tried a couple different things. So long as you can keep the barrel upright in the middle of the Lazy Susan and just kind of spin it slowly and spray it down. So um, after you've done that, you're going to let this dry for a while depends on the type of paint but usually 10 to 20 minutes per coat we actually ended up putting four coats of paint on these now again we didn't put any primer if you had actually sprayed on some primer and then sprayed on the paint you probably would only need about two coats to get a nice look for it um, so that's just something to be aware of um, and then you let it dry do let it dry for a couple hours before you remove that tape and then be sure to let it cure but when you've done all of that and you put it back into the M9 uh, as we've done here you can see that you really can't tell that this has been faked and it does read for the camera it looks real it looks authentic you now have pretty much authentic looking M9 pistols the military uses.